Hi there, and welcome back to the Productive Homestead. Uh, today, we're up in Fayetteville, and we're building a grain silo roof for a uh, project up here, a, 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 a house project. And I wanted to make this video because when I looked on YouTube, uh, I've never done this before, and so when I, when I looked on YouTube for, for help building this, we uh, I couldn't really find anything. And so I'm going to make this video that's more of a more of a don't know how how to and we're going to walk through it and see what we can figure out and I'm going to bring you all along with me. So enjoy the show. All right. So this is the last of the four panels for us to start with here and I'm going to attach these brackets. I wanted to show one example that we're going to do this a bunch, but I'm going to show you once. So this bracket goes on here on the underside inside that channel and then I'm going to drop a bolt in just and it's got a weather seal on it drop that in put the nut on the bottom Especially for our application but even if you were building an actual grain silo uh, we're gonna leave this loose so that it can move around as we need it to and because uh, when we install it on the house we're it's gonna need to be able to be fastened to plywood sheathing so going to need the ability to move it around. All right, and then these are the uh, support brackets uh, for in between the seams. And we're installing them this long slot on the metal and then this will attach to the to the uh, side we're leaving those loose as well I'm just pulling against that bolt to hold it still while I get that nut started. Kind of puts it in a bind so it doesn't just sit there and spin. And then you can just put spin it with your hand to get it loose. Like that. Alright, so that's how each panel is done. And uh, and this is temporary. We'll have to take one of these off. So we work in a counterclockwise rotation and uh, this way. And uh, the way that's going to work is we, we overlap each seam except for the manhole cover. And so with that being said, uh, we'll have to take one of these off. But I wanted to, because we're going to stand this up here in a minute, and I want to be able to attach this to the plywood on all sides uh, so that it stays still while we get started. So, all right. Well, uh, I've got... I've got these four done, so now we need to figure out a way to raise this thing up and get it secured to the wall. So we built this little Romero. He's out there at his truck. Romero built this uh, two foot stub wall here and uh, that's what we're gonna build this roof on to give us something to work off of and then we'll go from there. So, all right. Uh, 
yeah let's get it stood up okay so i also put two bolts on on each section here all right so now they so they can hinge as we push this up into the tree these these will hinge these ends will slide in and then once we get it propped up good enough we'll screw these ends in to the plywood for now temporary and then we'll brace this up good and then we'll go to and then we'll have to undo and redo as we work our way around but that's how we'll uh, uh, and then we'll install our panels that way so that's 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 the plan and I think it's gonna work so now I should also mention I should also mention this is a 21 foot grain bin roof uh, so at, at 21 feet each one of these panels are, are just are 10 foot uh, 10 foot 7 inches so uh, so you know that's where we're at on that and then uh, and then you've got your which is about the same as the radius which is 10 foot 6 inches for a 21 foot silo right so that's a that doesn't give you much pitch but when you add in the centerpiece here which is almost four foot across you it gives you quite a bit more pitch because you're bringing your panels further away from the center of the ring so i wanted to explain that that's that's how we're going to get the pitch that we're going to get otherwise with the 10 foot seven panel it would be pretty flat so all right let's get it raised up are we going to raise this roof up here and i've got uh ramiro helping and we're going to get it raised up and braced for yep romero said hi yeah all right so we're gonna get it raised up all right let's do it
All right, we got it stood up. Ramiro and Louise and me, we got it up. And uh, uh, it's, it's basically level and it's about the right height. And so we're gonna go at it here. Uh, give me just a second, let me tell I wanna, I wanna share something with you. So if you were wondering, and I was, when I, when I went to build this, this was my biggest question, is how tall is the roof? Because uh, I would have loved to have been able to build a box for this 21 foot, or uh, for this, uh, sorry. I would have loved to been able to build a box for this roof before, and set that up there and then started building my panels off of it. That's what I would rather done instead of raising it up like that and standing there for five minutes holding it. And if this was a bigger roof, that wouldn't be possible. You'd need the, the lift that you see everybody else using. We don't have that. What we have is ideas. And so that is, that is five foot four inches tall from the top of this board to the bottom of the fill hole. It's five foot four inches. And so, and that's gonna be about right, maybe, maybe give or take a little bit but that's really close so if i was going to build a box this was 26 inches tall if you were using metal it'd be three foot so you would just make build an eight foot four box set your fill hole on top there and then you'd be able to drop your panels off to the side of your to your tin for our application this was a 26 inch tall wall and so that we would have just done that but five foot four for the 21 foot roof. That's the only one I know, but that's what it is, five foot four inches. So, all right, well, I'm gonna start decking this. What I'm gonna do is uh, screw this to the wall here, and then I'm gonna start not on these panels that are screwed, because there are supports holding the thing up. Instead, I'm gonna start next to it, and then as I come to a panel that's screwed down, I'm gonna take that panel off, add, install the panel, and then move around, keep moving. I'm not going to work with the panels that are here because I don't know if they're perfectly round or not. So we don't want to do that. All right, let's get to it.
fuel hole was plumb, and I'm ready to start installing panels. Uh, you've, you've seen me install a couple of bolts. You've seen me install the bottom pieces. So uh, from here on out, I'm just going to be installing panels, lapping them. I'll show you a couple of those. But uh, until I get to something interesting, we'll be we'll get there quick.
first one lined up pretty good. This one, this one isn't lining up at all. So, well, I mean it is, but it's not right. So we're gonna, so you can see the gap over there. So I'm gonna take this one loose so that we can scoot it over and line it up. get it in here, I just line it up with that bolt, and I'll push it on a little bit to catch a thread, I'm going to put my nut on there, like that, so it doesn't fall, and I'll cinch it up with this, there we go. I'll come back and put bolts and everything after the fact.
That one is 90 inches. I know, but this side's low. So let's go 90 and a half. 90 and a half? Oh, you need it to stop? Yeah. Okay. Nine and a a little better but that's not bad that's better yeah I think that line really has a lot better
Go loosen some stuff up and and take care of some business. Uh, let's uh, let's see what that looks like. All right, updates. I've got this roof uh, on. This this panel is on now and bolted. Everything came out really nice. I just loosened everything up and it just went right together. And then I got this banding on here all the way around. And now I got to figure out which rail the uh, first set of railing goes on. But I think, I think it's not, let's see, I think it goes right there in the middle, but I'm not sure though. That's what the picture shows. Shows it in the middle. So. That's probably where it goes. It's right about there. All right. Well, I'm going to. And, and on this, I just overlapped. Each, each bolt goes through two uh, pieces of plate steel. And I just overlapped them. Thinking about uh, the view from the road i believe uh this will be the best view because it's it's go they're all going that way okay i don't know anyway that's what it did <laughs> so but that's on there now and and so now we're going to move on to to other things all right all right so it's been the sunset is beautiful tonight the western u.s is on fire and over here it just looks like beautiful sunsets Anyway, back here on the roof, we got the uh, second or the middle stiffener ring in, and it's tight. It's good. There's the bolt for it, and we got that nice and done. We got all this railing done down here. I already talked to you about that, but we got the stiffener ring on, and basically, it was pretty self-explanatory. It's just you put those clamps on right there like that, and then run the bolt through there and tighten up the nut on the back side, and then you put those rings together. And then you have to cut that piece of pipe. We ended up cutting like six inches off. Put that bolt in there, tighten her down, and stiffens it up. And uh, anyway, all right. All right, well, uh, appreciate you watching this video. This is all I was able to get done today. Uh, maybe I'll be back at some point to give updates or maybe to finish. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, we'll get up here and take a look at it and give an update on it when we can. Appreciate you watching Productive Homestead. See you on the next one.